Hi friends, welcome to Ohva Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can deploy a Python web application or an API into Azure Web App Resource. I will be creating a dummy API like how this code shows here using a fast API and then I will deploy this to Azure Web App Resource and I will show you the steps. In this video, we are especially talking about the zip deployment. So we, we will zip these Python files and we will deploy it. So let's create a API locally first very quickly. So I have a Visual Studio code open here in my system. Let me close this. Here I am going to file open folder and in C drive there is a folder called Python which I use for my development purpose maybe. So I am creating a new folder here called maybe I will name it like a demo API. So this is the folder like basically this is my project folder where I will create my Python API using a fast API. So I am creating a new file called main.py file uh, in which I will write the Python code and also I am creating a file called requirements.txt. So this file contains the packages what I need. So I need a fast API using which I will create a API and also I will need something called uvcon that helps to host this API locally and run and test it. So let me save this file. So now I am going to menu terminal new terminal. Let me close this copilot GitHub copilot basically and in this terminal what I wanted to do is uh, maybe I wanted to uh, create a virtual environment and deploy these packages which are there in a requirement.txt file. So to create a new package uh, virtual environment I have to execute this command python hyphen m means module v env module and my env is my virtual environment name what I wanted to give. So this will execute a command. So my virtual environment is ready and you can see my env folder got created there. So let me delete this terminal. So now basically assume that I want to activate this virtual environment and deploy these packages there. Uh, if you don't know what is virtual environment, watch it from my Python playlist. Basically, assume like I am creating my own sandbox where I want to, I will deploy my required packages for this project. So this sandbox will work or this environment will work only for this project. Okay, so now going back to the terminal once again uh, and here in the terminal, what I will be doing it here is uh, pip install hyphen r from requirements.txt file, I can install these packages but I did one mistake here I should have activated the uh, my env which is the low uh, virtual environment for this project but since I executed directly there that means I am I am running I am deploying everything in my global python that means in my systems python so that is not the way to do it so how I how we should do it is uh, we should activate a virtual environment first using this my env folder then inside which there is a scripts folder and active file so let me hit enter. So this activated my virtual environment and now I am using pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. This will install the packages in my virtual environment. Okay. Great. We can see all the packages installed successfully and when I hit CLS it will create my clear my terminal. And I can also try pip list that will list down the all the packages installed. And you can see fast api and uvcon are both are installed which is required and you can uh, you might be thinking why all these other packages were there they, they might they might be dependent packages automatically the parent package installs them this is fine so let me minimize my virtual environment let me go to my main dot file from fast api let me import fast api and then let me create a app variable which is object of fast api and then and using a get method I am simply printing hello world. So basically this whole code responds to a get request and gives this JSON back called hello world. So to run this I can do uvcon space what is the file name which is a main and what is the object name which holds your fast API that is app when I hit enter it will actuate it will it will actually take this whole API and host in my local server called uvcon and now when I open this URL, uh, let me hit, okay, so I think it opened here and you can see hello world is getting returned for this get request. 
this looks fine now assume that this is my api now i want to deploy this into azure web app resource how to do that so let's create a azure web app resource as a first step now so i am going to my azure portal and uh, hit uh, create a resource button there and i will be taking a azure web app resource select the create button there this is should open a wizard to create azure web app resource and i will create a new resource group called maybe demo python something okay so i am clicking okay so in new resource group i wanted to maybe demo app mahir that is what the name for this azure web app resource i want to give let me minimize it and then here i will be selecting the python code okay so python is the code in which i developed api so i should select a runtime as a python and uh, that automatically selects the linux there windows will not be available for you and uh, yeah central or let me change this location to maybe west us uh, and uh, yeah let it be all the defaults and uh, i can if you want to change this pricing plans and all you can change that to and hit review plus create button to create the azure web app resource using a python runtime validation successful i am i'm clicking that create button to actually initialize the deployment here you can see deployment is in progress it will take couple of minutes maybe 2 3 minutes to finish this deployment when this deployment is happening when i if i go back to my one node the steps are simply like this so so far we written this code in the main.py file and we have these packages and we have installed those packages and we ran it in the local using this command too and we created azure web app resource too now what we have to do we have to zip the files which is interested for us which we wanted to deploy in this case main.py file and requirements.txt uh not only that uh, if you see here uh, like inside the in azure web app resource i need to set a environment variable called scm do build during deployment value equals to true so this is mandatory step when you are performing the python zip deployment okay once you do that you, from your local uh, azure powershell what you can do you can execute this command this will actually take your zip file and upload it into a azure web app resource uh, and then finally under the configurations you need to set this command to host and run your api from the azure web app resource this is g unicon in local when you run you run using a uicon which is fine for the development version but when you host it when you deploy it uh, the production version usually work from the g unicon server so we will use that in the uh, startup command inside the configurations okay so i will show all these steps practically now so if i go back to my browser you see my deployment completed let me go to my resource and then i will try to navigate to environment variables here and i will create a new environment variable so i will copy this value scm do build during development let me copy this and come back here and create a new environment variable with that value and make sure you set a value as a true okay so i can check that and click apply apply uh and then click this confirm button to save the settings and this will automatically restart your um, azure web app resource too if you are if you want to manually restart navigate to overview and hit this restart button to restart your azure web app resource this is fine now the next step is uh, i need that zip file so basically main.py file and requirement.txt are my main files are the re relevant files which has to go for the deployment so what i will be doing it i am navigating to my local file explorer i am going to the same path where i developed it and these two are the files i am selecting both of them and right clicking compress to zip file so maybe i will say demo api so that is my zip file name and the path if you see c python demo api slash demo api dot zip file that's where it is now now i will go back to my uh here terminal control c to shut down or stop the server which it is uh, or the api which is running in a local and let me cli uh, and i am executing a azure cli command az account show this will help me to see whether i have a, i have i'm connected with my subscription or not from my local it seems i have connected it now cls now i will execute the command what it is there in my one node if you see azure web app deploy then name parameter give your 
web app resource name resource group give the resource name resource group where the web app resource is there and the path of the zip file so that is that is how it is uh, uh, so what i will be doing it i will i will try to um, uh, write this here uh, so i will use this uh, single um, th this this symbol and uh, enter this will help me to write the command in a multiple line so i will say azure web app deploy uh, let me check that azure web app deploy space then i want to write in a second line and i want to uh, there is a variable called name and i want to use the name of my web app resource let me copy and paste it here uh, and then in the in the next line uh, there is a, another flag called resource group hyphen hyphen resource group let me copy that and go back to my here and uh, i will simply paste it here right so i can remove the spaces and what is the resource group um resource group name is rg demo python so at me i'm copying that and pasting it here then in the next line let me go back to my one note uh, the next flag value or a parameter is source path let me copy that and i pasted it here and the source path may be in in a same see in the same demo api location demo api.zip file that's what i created right so demo api.zip now when i hit enter this should this should trigger the deployment basically it will take the zip file from my local and 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 and, and it will and it will upload it into the azure web app resource back and automatically uh, everything will happen automatically here and you can read this command deployment is happening it will take hardly 2 3 minutes uh, to complete this whole deployment process awesome it seems deployment is completed now i can go to my azure web app resource and i can actually navigate and uh, see the files also i think in ssh when you go there to the ssh actually you can see the files too i will try to show you by hitting that glow it will it will open a new tab uh, where i can i can actually use some uh, linux commands to list down the files which got deployed basically the deployment will what it will happen it will unzip your zip file and it will deploy the things there cool now i think i can use a command ls and if you closely take a look you see i got a main.py file and also i got requirements.txt file right how these files got basically my zip file got uploaded and it got unzipped as well now one last step which is missing if i if i go back to one node um, and if you see the startup command we have to use this let me copy this i will give all these uh, commands and everything in the video description don't worry so i will navigate to the configurations and uh, there is something called a startup command field that's where i will copy paste this command what i have copied here so here i will paste it and uh, if you closely take a look it is actually take giving the same file name and the same object so my python file name is a main and app is the variable using which i created a fast api object if your python file name is different you need to make sure to use correctly there and after colon the object name also correctly there so once all this is done uh, let me save these changes uh, and uh, once it get uh, updated and what i can do is i can once again hit cancel so uh, yeah it updated now i will go to the overview and restart your whole python web app resource once and uh, after restart completes now you can hit this url for your api to test and see whether it is working or not so let me hit this url and uh, you see i got a response back called hello world there when i navigated to the u, uh, root url so that means my api is working fine so i hope with this video you are clear with the steps to perform a zip deployment of your python web application or api into azure web app resource thank you for watching have a nice day